Very, very briefly, and this is going to be very tough on them. They've got an absolute maximum of four minutes, but I'm going to try and cut, them and cut that down um, so that we get as many people in as possible in what is obviously a very intense meeting. Let me give you some good news. There are 500 people attending this meeting, which is more than we had at any of the early meetings on Defend Whittington A&E Department. That shows the strength of feeling and love and support our NHS, our hospital, in our community, and so I thank everyone for being here tonight. This is not just an Islington issue, this affects all the surrounding boroughs, Haringey, Camden uh, particularly, and so I'm going to ask all of my colleagues to be very, very brief. The first one up, who made a great speech last week in Parliament, David Lammy, MP for Tottenham. At a time when we are losing our local newspapers, we've lost every one in Tottenham, can I just begin by thanking the Camden Journal and the Islington Tribune for flying the flag and actually raising the lid on this because we otherwise wouldn't know. Look, we, we've heard this story before. Um, the Whittington is a loved local hospital. I was born there. My sons were born there. My dad's sister and my mum's were nurses there. We love this hospital and we value it. When we talk about, as we heard before, the safety that has been achieved at the Whittington, it is largely because of the ratio of nurses to patients. It doesn't make sense to now sack those nurses because we know where safety will go. If you sell off a third of the land, if you sat nurses and staff, if you put a limit on the amount of maternity that can be driven, what will happen? What will happen 18 months from now? They will come back and they will argue that the hospital is too small and it needs to close or maybe it should join up with the Royal Free or UCH. That is why. We are suspicious of plans to sell off a third of the hospital. And this story about community services, adult social care is under intense pressure. Daycare centres are being closed. Residential homes are being closed. Ask those who are disabled. Ask those who are elderly. The idea that you can put services into the community and everything will be all right. We've heard that before. And I might say in Tottenham, we have lived with examples of those with mental illness not being properly cared for in the community and tragic results resulting as a consequence. That is why we will not accept this argument that somehow community services, it will all be fine. The manner in which this local community has learnt about this is totally, totally unacceptable in a country where we pay our taxes and the NHS is ours. It is ours. And the idea that a private meeting, frankly, could decide this and then serve it upon us, I'm, afra I'm afraid is shameful. And I say to those in current leadership roles at the hospital, none of whom were there, I might say, when we fought to retain our maternity services last time round and A&E, that this is not the way the people of Harringay and Islington and Camden expect to be treated. We, th this must not be presented as a fait accompli. We, are, we know what's happening in Lewisham. St Helier, King George's, we can see the landscape. We know that London's population is going to rise by one and a half million over this next quarter. We will fight to defend this hospital. We must fight. We must keep the Whittington as it is. And we certainly won't allow the sell-off land and loss of jobs. Thanks, David.